am Sorella Young, an animal care intern at the Bolsa Chico Wetlands Ecological Reserve. I'm subbing in for Jeanette, our animal care supervisor. Today, our live feeding will be for our swell sharks. We have six kind of juvenile swell sharks. We've had them since they were in their egg sacs and stuff like that. We'll be feeding them a mix of fish and squid that we've cut up. Right now, they look like they're sleeping because they're actually more nocturnal. So they won't really be waking up until they smell the food. So we'll get that started. If I can pick it up with the tweezers. See if we can wake them up. There they go. So we just go ahead and give it to them one at a time. We've had them since they were in the egg sacs. In a little bit, I'll go get an egg sac to show to you what it actually looks like. Yeah, here's the egg sac. So this is called a mermaid's purse, and it's kind of a hard material that the eggs are made of. And you can see these tiny strings on there. Those are actually naturally occurring, and they're called tendrils, and they help them attach to kelp. So they attach to the kelp so they don't get washed out to sea, and they can um, have good temperature regulation and less predators uh, they have very good camouflage with the kelp uh, so that they can hatch and be protected. They're in their shell in the egg case for 9 to 12 months. Um, and then they hatch out to these little guys. These guys are about a year old. And we are feeding them squid and capelin fish. A little too big for you, but you're doing your best. <laughs> oh, they got a little feisty. So swell sharks get their name swell shark. Um, they have a unique thing that they do. They can actually suck water or air into their body and swell up. Uh, to like twice their size and this helps them look bigger to uh, scare off predators as well as helps them wedge inside rocks so that they can't get pulled out from their predators. So that's a, an adaptation that they have. <laughs> They're all kind of just nosing around. Sharks actually don't have any bones. Their skeleton is made out of cartilage, which is the same thing as your ears and nose. Sometimes they call them cartilaginous, cartilaginous fish. Similar to sharks and rays are in the same family. They're both cartilaginous fish. They're very hungry today, <laughs> which is perfect. They're growing little sharks. They're very hungry. Ooh. So when I'm feeding them, they all kind of look the same. So I look for the ones that have the bigger bellies, and I can tell that they're more full. <laughs> oh, oh. Change the bump. I guess so. You can see their bellies kind of when they swim by. I think they're starting to get full and settle down. Sharks have a very interesting skin as well. Uh, they have what's called dermal denticles, and that uh, means teeth skin. So they have little tiny teeth on their skin. So if you pet a shark, they are very rough. It's 
We're almost out of food. So we'll finish up soon. Some of them are very fat, so definitely need to stop feeding them. Like this guy right here. <laughs> he's got a big belly. Think he's had enough? I know, but he keeps swimming around as if he wants more. I'll get him. I'll try. I have... I know there's one more piece. I have one more piece of fish head, and then I think Can that'll be. I know oh, it's a fish tail. Let's see. Do you want it, little guy? Do you want it? This guy wants it. And with that, that'll be our live feeding for our sharks. Thank you for tuning in. Our trails are open from sunrise to sunset. Feel free to come, but please wear a mask if you're near people. And our center is also open, but we're only doing five people at a time. Face masks required the whole time, social distancing. Thank you.